Hello everybody, happy Monday. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to do a general health check for your guinea pig in the comfort of your own home. Stay tuned. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the little bell so you'll know when the next video is available. Let's go ahead and get into it. Health checks are something you should perform on your own guinea pig at most once a week and at least once a month. This is done because you should know your guinea pig better than anybody else, so you'll be the first to notice if there's any type of abnormalities. One of the procedures I like to perform during a health check is weighing my guinea pigs just to make sure they haven't gained too much weight or lost too much weight, anything to cause any type of concern. I actually do have an entire video all about how to weigh your guinea pig and why. I'll go ahead and link the card up here if you guys wanna check it out after this video. I'll also put it in the description of this video as well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just a basic little health check that I perform on my guinea pigs. There's only a few supplies that you're going to need when performing a health check for your guinea pig. First and foremost, you're going to want to have a towel. This will not only provide them with a clean surface, but also a grip so they don't slip off of the table. And if you are going to be clipping their nails as well, it's not a bad idea to have those supplies on hand in case their nails need a little bit of a trim while you're doing the rest of their health check. Cotton swabs are another thing you're going to want to have off to the side. This will be for cleaning out your guinea pig's ears. And you're also going to want to have some treats as well, not only for an incentive for them to behave well, but as a reward and to make the situation much less stressful for them. I also have gas drops just in case Callum is a little bit bloated. The reason I recommend doing the health check at least once a month is because I also like to do their nail clippings at the same time. Nail clippings don't need to be done too frequently. Once a month is a good time frame to do them in. You could wait a little bit longer if you notice your guinea pig's nails don't grow that quickly. You're also going to want to be cleaning out your guinea pig's ears. This could be done at least once a month. You probably don't want to do it too much more than that. When you are cleaning their ear, be sure you're only cleaning the outside flaps. You're not going to be going inside the ear canal because you can cause damage to your guinea pig. So make sure to just be very careful when you're cleaning out their ear. And my little boy Callum gets a little bit of special treatment during the health checks because he is prone to get bloated. So I like to make sure to see if he is bloated and if he is, I go ahead and give him gas drops while I'm at it because he is very difficult to get out of the cage and he does not like being picked up. So if I have him already, might as well get it over with. And another thing to keep an eye out for is their teeth. You want to make sure both of their teeth are a nice healthy length, that they don't have any broken teeth or anything wrong going on with their mouth. Again, if you see anything out of the ordinary, make sure to book that appointment. Things that you should be on the lookout for when checking your guinea pig should be any type of lumps, which could mean anything as little as a cyst or it could possibly be a tumor. Either way, if you feel anything out of the ordinary, be sure to get it checked out right away. To give you an idea of something that you should be on the lookout for when doing the health checks for lumps, let me show you one that little Callum has. The vet is aware of this and as long as it doesn't get any bigger or cause him any type of discomfort, there really isn't an issue. So these are the type of things if you were to come across this on your own guinea pig, I would definitely go ahead and set that vet appointment just to make sure that there isn't anything you should be worrying about with it. Another thing you're going to be looking out for is the hair on your guinea pig. You want to make sure, as long as you don't have a skinny pig of course, that their hair is thick and full. You're going to be looking out for any bald spots or any scabs on their body that could be signs of lice or mites or something else. If you do see any of these signs, make sure to make that appointment with your vet as well. 
And that's how I like to perform my health checks at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the little bell so you'll know when the next video is available. I post new videos every Monday morning, including educational, how-tos, and fun little tidbits, as well as a vlog every Wednesday with updates on my piggies lives. If you have any questions or future video suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I hope you all have a safe and a lovely day.